What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I know I'm a little slow on getting updates to this LS Swap Malibu project, but back working on it. Worked on it some yesterday. Um, trying to get the rear end done. Uh, last video, I know I mentioned getting a battery box, which I did. It's not mounted, but this is what I have. It's a boat battery box. It's got the strap. I don't know exactly if I'll put the top on it or not. We'll just have to wait to see how that goes. It's done got hot on me. Um, summertime in Alabama. Let's see what we got over here. can see that it is hot it's close to noon here you see it's a metal shop it's old, well over 100 degrees in here so I did get the gas tank out wasn't that too difficult other than burning up out here and uh, that's like the nastiest thing I think in this car you know it's 81 so we're getting close to 40 years old now what 38 I don't know if it's ever been out but I would believe there's uh, 38 years of dirt grease and greasy dirt that was on that um, of course rusty bolts but I used the impact got out pretty easy so uh, the biggest thing getting to this rear end uh, I don't know if the holes on the frame is going to be big enough for the bolts so everything that you've kept up with it I got the uh, quick performance 9 inch Ford rear end I got TRZ Motorsports uh, A arm not A arms <laughs> control arms they all carry half inch hardware the uh, stuff on the housing of the upper and lower control arm mounts are for half inch hardware also so this comes with I think 11 millimeter from the factory I'm guessing my half inch bolts aren't going to go through but that's to be determined so First thing I need to do, I need to work on getting the uh, brake line off the housing. I'll be reusing it and I got to figure out some way to mount it to the other. Uh, I guess that's a good opportunity to use my welder and uh, start doing that I don't know how much of this I'll film I may just be showing you updates and stuff as it's mounted because it's probably gonna be difficult to film but if I can I will all right back under the car here so you can see there that's how the brake line is attached to the rear end Check out that for a dark dauber nest. I bet that took more than a year to build. So them things will just come right. Let me see if I can get where I can show you maybe. Great camera work, right? That's why I say that probably won't be much of it filmed, but 
get a flathead screwdriver under there, pry that up, no problem. So that'll come off, and I guess I can tack well on some of the uh, Dale clamps. Maybe it'd be better to put a little stud, tack well stud on there. But the thing is, look here. that it's your main hose coming back and then your junction block for your brake lines going to each side and that's bolted to the housing as you can see maybe you can hear me good because I got the fan on wide open over here obviously I showed you earlier it's hot in here but of course I guess that's more on the housing part maybe I can do something but I doubt it yeah, I've got an aftermarket aluminum center section or third member whatever you want to call it I don't know if that will get mounted or if I'll just have to rely on clamping the individual lines to the axle tube. So to be determined, but that's what I'm working on right now is getting these undone. And then I'm going to take the control arms loose from the housing. And uh, that's going to be the easiest way to do this and then take the control arm loose from the body because those are the hard ones to get to like you can't even see the upper nut you can see the bolt right there the nuts back here somewhere which I can't even see maybe y'all can the you see the nut on the lower control arm but you gotta go through the frame there's a hole in the frame to get to the head of, the, of that nut or bolt so hopefully it won't be as crazy as the motor mounts So I bought these Pittsburgh line clamp set, three piece. I don't know how good they're gonna work. Got three of them in varying sizes. I can't find the old style that some of my friends bought off a tool truck. They just kind of clamped on their own and then you had to force the levers apart to unlock them. They worked really well on brake lines. We'll see how these work.
so I went with the medium sized one. Tried the large as you saw. I don't know, neither one of them really closes it up good. Maybe because the hose is old. Or maybe because they're just not really that good. Anyways, we'll see how much fluid starts pouring out. Once uh break these loose off of the wheel cylinder. I ended up putting two clamps on it. I don't know if this will make any difference. So, sprayed the uh, brake lines going into wheel cylinders with a little bit of PB blaster and letting them sit and we'll see how this works out. All right, I guess I'll wrap the video up here. Don't want it to be too long, so. As you can see, I've got the brakes torn down. I do have the bolt to the rear end housing from the lower control arm there. Have it out. So all I gotta do is get the top one out now um, on the housing and the shocks loose and the rear end will be ready to come out. That right there was a fight to get out the um, parking brake cables on each side a little clip there has a little I guess you'll call them fingers that you have to squeeze all in and of course one of them always pops out but you gotta feed that through the back in place there for the brakes and kind of difficult at times especially the first one it's like when you know more what you're doing but like I said it was hot out here so that's about all I got done um, I did check the housing bolt hole uh, because all these uh, bolts are the same size from what I can see as kits that's available if you want to upgrade and that hole was definitely smaller than the half inch bolts that I got to use with the TRZ lower control arm or control arm set and the uh, housing and all so definitely gonna have to enlarge the hole on the frame and they're gonna be it's kind of like two of them's easy to get to on uh, and then two of them's hard to get to so we'll see how that goes uh, I don't know uh, I hope it goes good but getting a drill bit or anything like that's gonna be hard to do it's almost like you're gonna have to go through one end to get to the other and it's going to be kind of difficult so anyways that's pretty much uh, going to wrap up this video I'm thinking about doing some Holly carburetor videos in case anybody's interested in that and uh, look for those to be coming out soon kind of give a little more content and uh, you know everybody I know it's dead set on fuel injection and part of that's cause it's maybe some lack of knowledge on the carburetor. So I'll go over some basics on that stuff and uh, kind of go from there. I'm actually thinking about maybe doing a blow through carburetor and turbo. Just because it would be kind of a cheap way to go. Already got the intake for it, the um, 
MSD 6014 will pull timing based on boost up to 15 degrees. You know, on E85, and I mean, we're talking about a LS, it's not going to have a ton of timing anyways. You know, it'll be, be pretty close. Run, run a good bit of boost on that. Don't have to run an intercooler. Anyways, I'm rambling on. So if you like the videos, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, y'all.